And another reminder of the dangers faced out on our roads. A recent CDOT report showed that impaired driving is one of the top factors in deadly crashes across our state. Your report of the mountain, Spencer Wilson, caught up with an Avon police officer who was on his first solo assignment when he was hit by a suspected DUI driver. He and his chief talked to Spencer about the larger issues at play. It was just five hours after Officer Roseski has started his very first shift alone when he had made a quick traffic stop for somebody he believed had run a stop sign when he found himself involved in a very different crime right here. There was a second car coming up on the traffic stop. Went back to my vehicle, sat down, and I was typing on my computer, and I had to get out actually to go get the VIN number off of his car. So before I did so, just as in training, 360 awareness, Looked in the side mirror to make sure everything was all good. Saw his car riding the fog line. And, uh, and I was like, that guy's coming right from my car. Oh. Officer Rosowski was hit by another driver, slamming his head in that crash. The driver then gets out of his car and offers the officer his insurance. Do you need insurance, boss? Officer Rosowski knows he was at least lucky he was inside of his car when he was hit different things. I could have spent more time talking to the guy. I could have been walking back to my car. Who knows what would happen at that point? His chief, Greg Daly, has little sympathy for that driver who was taken in by the Eagle County Sheriff's Office for driving under the influence. I have always referred to uh, DUI impaired drivers as being selfish. They're not thinking about anybody else. They're thinking about themselves. Especially poignant right now as Colorado mourns fallen Golden Police Officer Evan Dunn killed in a very similar situation with a suspected impaired driver hitting him during a traffic stop. Dunn is even a rookie, just like Rosowski, who had just finished his graduation. You have spent a lot of time in making sure they're safe, and now you're finally ready to let them off to school on their own, and then he gets hit. So that's the feeling I had on this event. The driver, Andy Lopez Enrique, is now out on bond, awaiting his trial. We're still waiting on official charges to come from the district attorney's office. We'll bring you the update when we get it. In Avon, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. And Spencer is your reporter in the mountains. If you have a story idea or a tip for him to look into, you can get in touch with him by calling our tips line or by heading to our website, cbscolorado.com.